welcome to episode, I think we're on maybe eight, of Surviving Minecraft. And, you know, we're sitting here with Max Jr. How you doing, Max? We haven't talked to you in a while. Will you take a... No, you don't like potato, do you? Okay. So, we're on a new, new episode now, and what we're going to do, since we've got our spider, cave spider spawner farm system working out fantastically. We are going to build our house. The main house in this episode. And, you know, it's uh, it's been a long planning period. It took a lot of time in creative mode to try and figure out what kind of house I wanted to build. But I think I finally got a great design in mind. Um, it's going to involve mostly, you know, spruce and cobblestone, but anyways, let's take a look at some of the work that I've done so far. Okay, so we're going to lay out the foundation for my house, finally. Now this is going to take a lot of planning because I want it to be just perfect. But I've got to figure out the you know the overall layout of the house, what I want it to look like, how much space I want to have on the inside, everything. So to start with, I'm thinking I want to have a main road, like a three wide road go right through here. It just kind of seems to make sense with the terrain. And then probably right here, it'll turn and go uphill. And then my house will start somewhere like, I don't know, there. Maybe there instead. OK, so now I need to flatten this terrain a little bit do some terraforming, and I'll check back after I get done with that. Then we can start actually laying out the house. Okay. Okay, so now that we've laid out the dirt, and gotten this nice and flat, what we can do is start to actually lay out the house a little bit. So, I know that I want it to be pretty much this entire size. Maybe I can have, like, it go back here a little bit. And then over here a little bit. So it would be kind of long in the front and then deep in the back. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Let me make let me make this dirt just a little bit deeper this way. Okay, that's better. Now the sun is setting, of course. That's okay. We can work through the night. We'll just throw down some torches. Now I'm not sure if I want to keep this tree here or not. I might have to move it take that tree out and move this one kind of over where it's at. In fact, I think I'm going to do that. Okay, let's do that. Okay, move the tree. Looking pretty good now. I basically just had to rebuild it from scratch. Um, I don't think it's exactly the same as it was, but it's pretty cool looking, I think. I tried to mimic like one of these trees. Oh, is that a creeper? It sure is a creeper. That's the last thing I need around here. Bunch of creepers. Okay, we're going to kill this guy. So now the main thing that I need to do is collect a bunch of building materials. And this house is primarily going to be out of the spruce wood. Because that is the main building block that I have on this island. So I think I'm going to do a combination. Ooh, let's save that leaf. 
I think I'm going to do a combination of spruce wood, maybe some stone bricks, some of the uh, spruce wood planks. I haven't quite decided all of it yet, but I can at least lay out the border of it now. I'm probably going to mock it up in dirt and then uh, just replace it with whatever material I end up going with. So I know the end, or the side right here, or this, I'm sorry, I know this end right here, I kind of want to be rounded, I'm thinking. So let's do something like this, maybe. Looks pretty good, kind of follows the terrain a little bit. And from there, we can knock that out. And let's see, I'll bring it back a little bit like this. Maybe jut in a couple over one more. Oh, no, let's do it like this. Like that. And then all the way down the side here. It's right there. move these guys. This is my impromptu tree farm, if you couldn't tell. Just trying to get some materials together. Okay, so bringing it around like that. And then maybe something like that. Hmm, let's see. Front door is about there. Something like that. And then I could bring it in a couple, I guess. Or we want to do it like that. No. Like that. And then over. And I just don't want it to be a plain house, you know. I want it to kind of have some kind of character to it. Okay. So now let's go see what that looks like from the skyward view. Okay. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. I kind of like that. I might, like that corner right there, I might knock it out. Or I'll add corners here. I'm not sure quite yet. I think I want to leave these two trees. pretty cool to me. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so I will start making some more wood get my materials together and then we can start actually building this thing. And this is probably going to be a long work in progress. But you got to start somewhere, right? Okay. Here we go. Okay, so now we are going to start actually building the house itself. We're going to need a ton of wood just like so and probably all of this wool maybe more hopefully I have enough we shall see we shall see okay so we need all that wood and then we're gonna need a bunch of stairs don't have any spruce wood planks excellent Let's grab a few of these, make our staircases for the roof. Uh, that's not going to be enough at all. So let's just go ahead and make a bunch more. Do. 
Let's see. Oh, man. There we go. Okay. So that'll get us started pretty good. And we're also going to need some more of these. And let's just take the rest of these. Okay. Now let's grab up some cobblestone. And we'll go start working on the house. I'll meet you over there. Okay, so I'm kind of just going around laying out the outline of the house right now, just so I can get my bearings down. And let's see. Just making sure I get everything set up. I did build this house in my creative world, my test world. Um, already, so I know kind of know, you know what I'm what I'm gonna do with it, or how I'm gonna build it at least. So it shouldn't be too incredibly hard to do. And, uh, oh, did I count that wrong? Oh, I sure did. Blast. Okay. Well, we'll see how this is gonna work. I think I might have to move this road over one, <laughs> which is very annoying. But what are you gonna do? Okay, and then every two for this front wall. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's good. That's very good. And need some cobblestone. Kind of fill in the gaps here. And so what we're going to do, and I need to make some, I don't, because I don't have any right now, some uh, glass panes. Because we're going to be doing some work with glass panes in this one. Oh, did I miscount? One, two, three, one, two, three. I think I might have miscounted, guys. Huh. Well, I think I might need to extend one way or the other by one block. <laughs> oh, that's kind of annoying. Well, I can go this way by one block. So, I think that's what we're going to be doing. So, let's do that. So, any anything new happening in your your world? I know I'm looking forward to next release of Minecraft coming out. Haven't really been able to figure out when that is though. Hopefully soon. I know I've been seeing some snapshot videos. Um, all the new stuff looks really cool. Like new stuff since I've been playing. So let's talk about the hoppers and uh, the comparators, the redstone comparators. Um, all those look really cool to me. One thing I'm super excited about is the new uh, actual block for a day-night sensor. That's going to be really nice. Is that right? No, that's not right. Yeah, that's going to be a really nice addition. Been looking forward to that for a while. I mean, I know there's been ways to do it. One, two, three. Um, using uh, different redstone and grass growing mechanisms. But uh, I never actually built one of those. So it would be nice to actually have a just a dedicated block that does it. I think that'll be quite exciting. Yes. Okay, now how did I do this one? Like that. And then probably skip, skip to two, skip to two, one, yeah, like that. And then let's go back here. This is gonna be a big house. If you guys don't know, I mean it's my main house. It's gotta be big, right? 
Okay, so one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, oh no. Oh no, there we go. One, two, three. That may or not may or may not be right. I can't remember. I'll have to check. Okay. And then let's see. How does this go? One, two, one, two, like that. Okay. Let me double check this part right here real quick. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I checked and I was off by one <laughs> again. So what I need to do is move everything over and then I have two right here at the end. So two, three, 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 and two. And now let's just go around and fill in the holes here with cobblestone. And we can already start to see the basic uh, material pattern that I want to use for this first floor is going to be mostly, or actually, I think this first floor is going to be all spruce wood and cobblestone. And then uh, once we get into the second and third floor, we'll start to use uh, spruce wood and white wool. Mm, that'll look good. So. I'm going to go into super fast mode here, and uh, we'll start building a little bit quicker. Okay, so there's the first layer kind of framed out and studded out with the, the spruce logs. And you can kind of see kind of see what we're going for here. This is going to be really tall. There's like I think three three or four floors in this uh in this house and it's going to be big. It'll be way up there. So, um I must admit I did not come up with this style all by myself. I did have some inspiration from, uh, forgive me if I say it wrong, but I think it's Gundahar. Um, he's got a really good channel on uh, on building houses and, uh, you know, medieval, Nordic, uh, really cool Asian houses um, on his channel. I'm definitely going to provide a link to his channel below. You should guys, you guys should definitely check it out if you're interested in, in uh, building different buildings. He's, uh, he's very skilled, very skilled at this. So let me just finish up some finishing touches here. Let me see if I can remember how I did this. I don't think I had windows all the way around. I've just been right like that. And then we can go get started on the second floor. Okay, so now that we have the first layer, the first floor down, essentially, what we can do is start to basically extend on this floor. And the way that we're going to do this is following, let me try and show you real quick, kind of following some basic ideas. Um, let's see. So we want to go 
go up there, and then we'll go kind of around, basically creating a uh, a second floor or a, a, a what do you call it? A balcony almost. How about that? We'll call it a balcony. And then from here we can go up, and uh, we'll create our our basic floor. So this will extend the the second floor out in this direction a little bit, like three blocks, two or three blocks. And we can basically do this same technique um, everywhere because we want this house to be big. And I like that, except for these two outer ones. Let's make those upside down, or not upside down, right side up. So this episode is going to be mostly me talking to myself, trying to uh, remember what I did and uh, figure out new ways to do things that I can't remember how I did. So bear with me, guys. Okay, so now I've extended all the balconies on the second floor, and what we can do is now go and basically extend all of these uh, frame pieces to uh, to match. This will give us some good building guidelines um, on what to do for the rest of the the house for this floor. Okay guys, so we've got just about all of the second layer, second floor here um, studded out and framed out. Just doing a little bit of cleanup now. And uh, once we get this once we get this floor framed out completely, we can kind of start filling in some of the pieces that actually make it look like a house start doing some of the roof and some of the, uh, the walls actually. So let's see if we can tackle a little bit of that real quick and I can kind of show you what it's going to look like. Let's see. Okay, for this we're going to need our spruce wood stairs and our spruce wood planks. And you can kind of see oh, not that. You can kind of see the style we're going for here. We're going for a really straight up and down roof section here. so and then we're going to do it again I like so and then we're going to cap it off with oh we're going to cap it off with no not like that cap it off like that and that, uh, sorry, and that. There we go. So let me try and get back a little ways, and we can kind of see what this looks like. So you can see it's really the tall roof. in this section. 
Um, this is going to be kind of the main theme for the uh, the walls here. The right top of the house is going to have more of a traditional slanted roof, but the sides here and these little corner pieces are going to be nice and tall. I think they look really cool that way. And what we can do is in these interior pieces here, we can already start framing out the uh, the walls themselves. So for instance with the wool we can go like that to put a window in. We can go over here and get my building blocks back. Cover up the uh, pieces that show through. Just like so. And voila, we've got some walls up already. Okay, I'm going to continue on doing this, and I will meet you guys when I've got a little bit more done. Okay, so you can see that we've got a lot more done, and for some reason there's a chicken following me up here. Um, but yeah, so we've got the second layer pretty much done. The uh, little roof sections are in place, kind of like so. Um, all the walls are up with the white wool. And now we've got to move on to the next layer. So let's go ahead and get started with that. And so what we're going to do is basically take all of you know the, uh, the lines on the inside here and kind of extend them up. So let's get started on that. And I'll see if I can get it just the way I had it before. I'm kind of using my, uh, my practice world as a reference point here. And so I'm trying to get it just like it, like it was because it, I really liked it. So let me uh, let me go super fast mode here, and I'll I'll check back whenever I got some more progress to report on. Okay, guys, so we've got most of the framing set up and completed it and the, the wool in place for the walls. Um, you can kind of see how it's going to look. It's really pretty tall, actually. Um, what I have left to do is put the, the major main roof on. Um, it's going to take a lot of stairs. And then uh, after that, the exterior and the structure of this house is actually going to be complete. So all that's left after that is going to be to go through and lay down the flooring and set up the interior rooms and then furnish it. So here we go. So we're going here, putting on the final roof, the main roof of this house. I'm really excited about this. It's going to be probably the coolest, biggest structure I've ever built. I know I'm following uh, Doc M's progress on his iron bark mega tree that he's building right now. And this, in, this really doesn't compare to that as far as size goes, but it's, uh, it's a pretty big endeavor for me, so I'm excited about it. Took a long time in planning this uh, this house out, especially the inside, to get the rooms just the way that I want them. 
think it's gonna be awesome once I get it all done. And uh, you know, I want to thank you guys for watching these videos. It makes makes doing them a lot more pleasant for me. I enjoy seeing the comments that you guys leave, and uh, you know, just just the response from you guys. I, I really enjoy seeing that. So thank you guys. I know that uh, going through the furnishings of this house, I'm not going to be able to finish everything that I want to do because there's, I'm going to have like, for instance, a or a brewing stand in my kitchen area, and I won't be able to do that until I go to the Nether and get blaze rods. So, just waiting for 1.5 to come out to go to the Nether for the first time because I want to get those Nether quartz. Okay guys, so I got the the rest of the outside done here. I added some planter boxes that I'm going to add trapdoors and flowers to with some structural uh, bracing underneath to kind of give it some more realism. I'm walk around here a little bit you can kind of see those in a little bit better detail. I also added some upside down staircases underneath the uh, roof pieces. And I think I've got all of the wool in place for the walls. So um, next up is going to be adding in windows, flooring, and uh, setting up the rooms. So let's get on it. Okay, guys. So we got the uh, house pretty much all set up. There's still some interior uh, design and furnishing things that I want to do, but for the most part, the exterior of the house is completely done. So let's go take a look at what we've done so far. You can see this thing is rather large. That's what she said. I love it. Came out just the way I wanted it to. Really cool looking. Got some structural bracing here to make that look like it's actually holding up the uh, the balcony pieces here. Got a lot of a lot of plants, so it looks pretty decked out and cool. You can see here from the sides. I mean, this is going to be the biggest thing on this island, probably. <laughs> Looks really cool. Got a couple upside down stairs to add right there. Let's try and do that real quick. So I'm not gonna I'm gonna call this mostly done. There's probably a couple things I wanna add, you know, as I go along. But for now, we're gonna call this done. At least the exterior. I still have some stuff, like I said, to do on the interior. But I'll tackle that as I'm able. So, let me know what you think, guys. I'm really excited about this. It turned out exactly the way I was hoping it would. Okay, let's go take a look at the uh, the inside real quick before we call this an episode. Okay, over here is going to be my main work area. A I'll couple workbenches, maybe a chest uh, somewhere over here, chest or two maybe. Uh, you can see, oh, right here I'm also going to add a table like an upside down piston. That'll be pretty cool. Over here is going to be like a water closet and I'm going to have a a water a water block source block right here that actually drops down to like a, the basement part which is going to be like kind of like an underground 
working area that actually has all the you know storage rooms and that kind of cool stuff. In here is going to be uh, right here actually is going to be the living room. So I'm going to have you know like a couch, some paintings, um, some cool stuff like that. And then I want to sleep off this night real quick. I don't have the upstairs completely lit up yet, so like would probably get mobs spawning, and I don't want that to happen yet. Um, in here is going to be the kitchen, which will encompass, uh, or which will contain a furnace, brewing stand on top, a, a cauldron right here, some nether wart on on soul sand right here, and right here, maybe some bookshelves right here for like a recipe or pantry type setup. I think a table or a chest there and then maybe a chest there. So that'd be pretty cool. Right here is going to be just a little closet for a chest. Going upstairs here, I'm going to have a, a wall. I think it's right there. That actually goes into my bedroom. So in here. And I'm going to have a uh, enchantment table set up in here with a bunch of bookshelves. And my bed's going to be over here. Got some more storage areas over here I can use. Um, cool views right here. Out here is going to be like a couch with a table in front. So that's pretty cool. Another longer couch with a table in front right here. And then over here. I haven't quite decided yet, but I definitely am going to be like walling off part of this, sectioning it off into different rooms. I'll show you guys in the next episode. It'll be great. And then finally upstairs in the third floor will be just like more storage, more chests. Um, I haven't decided what's going to be over here yet, but I have this really cool overlook area which is pretty cool and for some reason this shimmy is like that and I don't like that but anyways I got this really cool overlook and that's pretty much the gist of the house I mean we're at the roof here I've got a little bit of so I'm finishing touches to add but uh, it's uh, it's pretty much done guys took a lot of <laughs> a lot of trees and a lot of wool to get this to get this to happen but anyways i want to thank you guys for watching i know this was a long episode but uh i think it was well worth it got a lot done this i'm really proud of this house it looks really cool to me so thanks for watching guys and i will see you in the next episode